I feel that not enough thought has been given to the huge um, amount of pedestrian and vehicular movement for a very short space of time. Um, for 15 minutes you're gonna have there's one entrance and one exit coming out into Spax into um, Skimmerton Lane. So you're gonna have all the school kids, all the parental pickups, all waiting in Skimmerton Lane. And for that 15 minutes you're gonna have an awful lot of traffic there um, in a very narrow lane, as well as the buses which will be presumably coming out the other end. If you look at the plans, the exit where the, the children are going to have to come out is right up in Skimmerton Lane. No, as far as I'm aware, child will walk all around the perimeter of the building to get into town. They will find a shortcut down through over the sports fields and out into one of the lanes or across an estate or somewhere. They, they won't walk around the whole perimeter, they'll, they'll come out and find a shortcut. Um, I've spoken to Julia about this, she says uh, they won't do that, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure they will. I think by mush pushing the school that much further away um, is causing a lot more traffic because a lot more children have to get driven to school. So it does contradict them saying that the cycle paths and things are going to be in there because the cycle paths are not going to get used as much because it's so far away children won't use them. And if children access through A30, the A39, that is such a busy road with a history of accidents on it, the increased amount of traffic on the 39 and on Durley Road, I think it's just going to cause chaos in there. When it comes to dropping off and pick-up times, it's just going to be a bit of a nightmare, really. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think that's going to heighten the, uh, the dangers to children, you know, both those that want to cycle or the amount of cars that you're going to end up, end up with. What I think is so wrong is, is to make the children go that much further to get to the, to the new site. They'll have to be doing it in all winds and weathers, summer and winter. They'll have to get to school at the same time, so they'll have to be leaving earlier. I'm considering the, the children now who normally come here by foot or by bicycle. They'll either have to come up here for about another mile and more to get around into Skimmerton Lane to where the school entrance is, or else they'll be they'll be going along the A39. Now there's going to be no alteration on the A39, and there's a big notice down there which says Red Route. 927 casualties in five years. Now if you double that for 10 years, that's 1,854. Divided by 10 to get it per annum, that's 185.4 a year per annum. So that's just over one every other day. And you're going to be, be asking children to come from that school, which is for over a thousand pupils, to be, some of them, many of them, to be going out onto the A39, unlit, no more, no more lighting, not wide, no anything, to make their way back here summer and winter. I think it is so wrong, morally and wrong, to jeopardise their safety or their well-being for the sake of spending money, which they should have done to develop this site, rather than put it where it is now. They have drawn them, they have worked themselves into a corner up at Skimmerton Lane, and now they're going to try to open up the corner to try to make it safe, in inverted commas but there will come a time when some child is going to have an accident. That's obvious. The questions are heavily weighted so that it looks as if you agree with all the plans because it's either yes or no, do you agree? It doesn't it just say that you, you want a school out there. Well, I did ask what's the timing on this, and that nobody would give an answer at all. When I mentioned if they put 200 houses on this site, well, when the NDR was built, they said that there would be seven vehicle of movements for each house yes. per day. Mm. And that's another 1,500 cars in West Street. <laughs> well, 3,000, 3, because they've got to come up and back down again. Yeah. And it, it's a bit like the council, her, councillor, when they were doing the MDR, and I said, you know, about the traffic. Oh, but he said, the roads for them, and uh, I thought, oh, 
And so they're going up and down this road, are they? Just up and down this road. They won't go to the doctors or the dentists or schools. <laughs> no, quite. <laughs> Um, would you like to say a word? No, I don't think it's a crook. Of course, if it's not a crook, it's a crook. Isn't that what we pay her for? Well, the plans are all pre-cash, shall we say. Decisions have been made. No change have been made to what was originally requested, asked. So basically, we, we are in do as we say, not as you think we ought to say. How do you feel about that? I think it's bloody disgusting, <laughs> to be frank. There's no, there's no opportunity. It's, uh, it's a good sight here. And when someone proposed that they build a school three storeys, oh, you can't do that because the planners wouldn't allow it. But when and if they start building a housing estate on here, then we'll have a look how many three storeys building it. Bonk, don't worry. So again, with all the petitions which have been signed, all the work that's been done in opposition, all the sensible proposals which have been put forward, don't mean a thing. Because the powers that be have made their mind up and God knows what they're going to get out of it. Terrible. <laughs> I think it's a waste of public money. Um, though a councillor phoned me the other day and said not to worry because it's government money, but I don't agree with that and I would like to see an alternative site and that's what we've been doing today and we've got about 50 signatures and I hope this is more than what the Somerset County or Building Schools for the Future have got on their highway improvements which I think is going to cost millions of pounds and I hope it doesn't go through. It would be tremendously cheaper and safer for the children. It's the safety of the children which is paramount in my thoughts and other residents of Durley. And I would hope building schools of the future would look at this seriously. If they do put an application in to build the, the proposed site, it will be called in by certain residents, and I'll be one of them, um, to say that it's uh, uh, in the wrong place, the wrong time, and that the alternative sites are better placed. Frank, frankly, uh, having attended this feedback session, I'm frankly quite disappointed. I think much of the uh, cosmetic work that is promised is, uh, falls well short of ideal. Um, one of the junctions that they describe as needing slight improvement on the Enmore junction is quite improper. The and quite inadequate. The so-called parent waiting areas behind, across the road from the new site, are totally inadequate and will create problems of pupils crossing the road. Um, I think the whole question of access highlights the general underlying fault with the whole program, that the site is quite unsuitable that it's quite inadequate and there is the other uh, more important point of principle to my mind that these schools belong in the town not out of town particularly Penrose School which I feel very strongly about pupils like those attending Penrose have missed out so much on life in past and previous generations only in this generation have we included them in the education system and to move them out of town now is a grave mistake.